I was lucky enough to catch up with Bearded and Bored and George from Bali and Hops in person not long ago. Now we recorded a full length podcast. It's a nice long one, guys. A hangout, so that is available on the usual podcast catches. But today, the video that I'm bringing to you is all about whether or not you should collect your cuts off the still into multiple little blending jars to decide what you're keeping later or not. Cuts. So I personally, I know George, you tend to pick a starting point and an end point, and you throw everything in together and you wrap it up. Mm -hmm. uh, I tend to uh, run into individual jars all the way through and then go back and taste the next day. And I know I've had a bunch of questions lately asking about that. And I think it's because we're getting more crossover yeah. um, all the time between our channel. So if, do you want to do you want to let us know why you do it? Well, your way um, and why it works for yeah, you? Um, believe it or not, the, um, the, the reason why I like to collect everything together mm -hmm. um, is that ultimately what, what I found myself doing before, it's a, it's a shortcut. Right, right, right. It, and I, I found it to be beneficial in my case, uh, just because of my process. Um, I've collected in jars many, many times. Um, and then I wind up putting them together. Yeah. Uh, because I've got, at the beginning of my hearts, um, you know, I've got, actually at, at the end of the heads and right at the beginning of the hearts, you know, I've got this really concentrated flavor profile. Right. I know it's there, you know, and, and it is, and it's, it's, it's relevant. Um, and then it starts to wean off and it levels and, and mellows and then it kind of tapers at the end and I don't collect tails, right. period. I just will not do it because I don't think there. there's an effort. It's not worth my effort Yeah, because uh, I don't ever use them. That's one um, of the cool things about this hobby is you can... You can stop when you want. Yeah. 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 So, But if I take all of that and if I collect it all together on one thing, I've got a blend of everything that's in my kettle. Right. Um, I don't have it... It broken out, but see, then I'm not doing the the analytical portion of uh, the drink, the uh, flavor profile that you're doing. So right. I like the way you do your process because, from your point of view and your aspect of the analyzing process of start to finish, uh, lends itself much more to that separation. Whereas mine is a finished product that I just have blended together, and then I do the I either infuse flavors. Uh, I start to age, uh, I oak chip it, and then I'll age and store, or whatever the case may be. So that's my story, and that's kind of why I do that. Yeah, right. I think also, it's interesting, I've only just <clears throat> realized this, but I think you tend to lean much more towards bourbon, American whiskey, yeah. those sort of things, yeah. right? Yeah. And some and, gins. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, and neutrals. And, I don't do vodkas that much. It's, yeah. It's and just, you don't tend to do big smoky things. No, or no. Or really no. funky rums. No. Or, I've got a bunch of peated malts sitting aside I'm waiting to use. But right. I, I really don't like That's the not your jam. Malt. It's not my thing. Yeah. So, so I, 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 I've just clicked now. Are you now. Scottish? Uh-huh. Yeah. No, no wonder you're in America. You must have been deported. No, I must have been deported. <laughs> He's like, you know what they told me? They said, get the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've just clicked that that's probably a big root of this, right? So it, it I, is. I'm the opposite. I love. Because you like a lot of the flavors that are mostly see, present in the tails. I yeah, do. See, yeah. that's where I was going with you. You're doing more of, of an analytical based on the collection at a certain point for a flavor profile yeah, where yeah. I'm doing the. Honey, I got it all together. You kind of know your process, and you know roughly yeah. what you're running, and yeah. you've, you've you've run it a hundred times, and you know that this perc this, this percentage or this time in the the run right. gives you what you want through to this time. See, yeah. I always say two hundred four, one hundred proof. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah, those yeah, are my yeah, two yeah. data points. Yep. You know, yeah. I hit both of them. I can't hit one. I've got to hit both of them. If yep. I hit one and I haven't hit the other, I'll wait till the other one shows up, and then I stop. Yep. I think I think what you what you figured out is actually really cool. It's it's the same as having. Um, Having to consider whether or not you're going to make whiskey or gin mm -hmm. on what kind of still you want to run, either a pot still or a reflux still. Do you want to collect in jars because you're looking for weird little chewy, chunky things uh, that are funkier down in the tails? Yeah. Yeah. Or do you pretty much know what you're looking for and you want to just collect only the hearts and you're good. Yeah. You're ready. Yeah. See, so at the end of the day, Jesse, I'm doing it right. You're doing it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see how this works. No. Yeah. Or you're doing it right. Yeah, I'm yeah. doing it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But it depends on, on what you where your do, point right? of view yeah, is. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. so they're, they're both absolutely yeah. great yeah. processes. They both work. 
um, it's just what is your flavor of the day? Yeah. You know? So just just to articulate, what's your, what's your goal? What's your yeah. aim? Yeah, yeah. Just to articulate, in case for some reason you guys haven't seen the way I do it, mm. I, I collect. Oh, excuse me. That's no. those tacos coming back. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. tacos, baby. Uh, I collect the whole run in small jars, and the reason I do that. Nine hundred jars. Uh, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason is I can then go back the next day and decide what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep. And because I like those funky flavors, I like the hogo rum, I like the peat, they show up in the tails, but there's a, such a fine line between mm -hmm. delicious peat yeah. and shitty tails. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> and it might be, it might yeah. literally be the difference of 200 mils sometimes yeah. between seen, gold and I've hate. seen this happen. You had wet dog and cardboard, and then not quite so much wet dog and cardboard, a little sweet something, and then even further away, something amazing. That does happen, and that yeah. was that yeah. was weird. That was something I didn't yeah. expect. But and I, I, I never would have run that long. Yeah, yeah. I, I just yeah. But, but the yeah. only reason I ever run that long is because I'm looking for you're funk. Dig, you're digging for peak. treasure, is what yeah. you're doing. So, but if you if you're not into that style of whiskey, mm -hmm. you don't need to do that because yeah. I've never gone down that far in the tails and found something um, pretty. The only time that has come up is when you go so far down that you're almost just distilling water mm. and then it cleans right called, up again. Isn't that called sweet water? Isn't that what they referred to the I, whole time? Yeah. I think so, yeah. And yeah. then if you use, sometimes I've used that to kind of, to save it aside and then proof down with. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's kind of interesting, but you've got to go so far down the run. That's yeah, such yeah. a long process. Like 5% or something or, or. Oh, you got to get yeah. below three. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 You gotta, yeah. That's why. It, and again, like on, with the genie, I'll, I'll stop. Well, at, at three you percent, uh, in, you know, in the, yeah, in the kettle. Yeah. Well, I know I've got about three percent ABV, and I know that from that point lower, um, the chance of me collecting tails, uh, which I don't want, and I don't like, yeah. are really, really prevalent. Mm -hmm. um, and it also equates to hundred proof, two hundred four. Yep. It's just that's George's yeah, just works. Did yeah, you yeah. ever make your kitchen smell like wet dog? Uh, no, thank. Fully, I've made the man cave smell like wet dog. <laughs> I did. Cause you'll sleep on the couch for that shit. Oh, yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. I didn't. I didn't make the kitchen smell that bad. It was. It was dumping out the wash afterwards. And it. It got the steam of it got uh, up in my beard. Oh. And oh man, my wife was mad. She came There's a in. lot of things that stick in your beard you don't mind smelling in. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, not, yeah, one that's not one of them. Yeah. She came in and gave oh, me this a, this conversation could go snuggle. south real, real quick. quick. Yeah, and I mean well, south. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you picked up on what I was laying oh, down? Oh yeah, I picked okay. up on what yeah. you're laying down there, All right. George. All right, so now that I am sober and I've had a little bit of time to listen back to the conversation, there's a few things that I wanted to add in there just for clarity's sake. Things that I should have said while I was there. Uh, first of all is that I really need to stress the, the importance of the fact that I don't think one way is right or wrong necessarily. They're just different. And I think that there's no real downside to collecting in individual jars other than the fact that you need a whole lot of jars and it takes a little bit of extra time. You could also argue that you're going to lose uh, some spirit to evaporation if you're waiting overnight. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Uh, I'm not worried about that, but just so you know. Uh, on the flip side, if you're putting it all in together, there's no real downside to it, other than the fact that once it's done, it can't be undone. So if you're not sure about where you're going to make a cut, if you don't know what's going to happen during that run, it may not be the best idea. That once again taps into, I think, one of the key differences between what I've been doing lately and what George has been doing lately. George knows what he likes and likes to recreate things that are fairly similar to that, which is awesome. All power to you, man. Like that is the beauty of the craft. And to be perfectly honest with you, if I had more time, if I wasn't working full time with kids and a channel and editing and rah, 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 I would be doing a lot more of that as well. And in that situation, I would 100% get to the point where I know what's going to happen in the run. It's the same wash. It's the same ferment. It's the same still. It's the same everything. Uh, and I can predict pretty well, along with tasting during the run, what's going to happen and then make my cuts that way. The reason that I don't ever do that, the reason I've never done that, is because I've never really made the same thing twice. <laughs> and I think that's that's kind of one of the cores uh, of these differences here, guys. So 
don't feel like you have to do it my way don't feel like you have to do it George's way know the differences between the two and you can pick what's right for you like everything else in this craft